It was May of 334 BC when Alexander the Great crossed the Hellespont and began his conquest of the Great Persian Empire. But it would not be possible for him not to stop at Ilium, where the great heroes of the Iliad had lived, fought, and died to pay his respects to Achilles' tomb. Would the king like to see the lyre of Paris? He was asked. I care nothing for it, Alexander replied, but I wish to see the lyre of Achilles with which he sang the deeds of heroes. For Achilles, one of the greatest Greek heroes, was renowned for his lyre playing also. It was taught to him by the wise centaur Chiron, friend of his father's, who instructed the young prince in all those things that a future king should know, war, mathematics, and of course, music. And when the call came, Achilles said to Troy, knowing he would perish there, what need did he have of earthly riches? And so, when he laid siege to Cilician Thebes, the city of Eshen, Andromache's father, he refused all spoils but one, an ornate liar. That would be his companion in the decade-long war. And when bitter disagreement rose outside the walls of Troy, and Achilles retreated to his tent, taking the oath never to fight for the Greeks again, he put away his tools of war and picked up his lyre to calm his spirits and bring joy to his companion Patroclus. And playing his sweet lyre, his only spoils did the envoys of Agamemnon, Odysseus, and Nestor find him later, when they came to beg him to once more join them in battle and fight for the Greeks. But Achilles' wrath was too great. Only when his dear Patroclus was killed by the hand of brave Hector did Achilles put his lyre aside and once again picked up his spear and sword and he threw himself into the fight, his mind filled only with revenge, forgetting his lyre since the one he played it for was with him no more. But his fate was sealed and when the greatest of the Greeks fell, a monument was erected, a mausoleum where he could forever rest at the side of his companion. And next to it would lie, until the days of Alexander, the instrument of his youth, his only spoils of war, the soother of his soul, his lyre. This and hundred more ancient stories of gods, heroes, and mortals that shaped classical Greece in one book, The Song of the Lyre. Order now 